Hello everyone. Yeah, there's a little more light. Uh, the Lord is telling me to play for the next several days. Uh, up, coming up is the uh, what we Christians call the Feast of Trumpets and what the Jews uh, still call Rosh Hashanah or ha Rosh Hashanah. Anyway, uh, they would blow trumpets uh, for this feast and it was, uh, it was in order to uh, call people to uh, contrition and repentance uh, before the Lord and confess their sins, get on their knees and uh, repent of their own personal sins and their own and the national sins as well. And uh, frankly, I think we need that pretty badly. Our nation has gotten very sinful and there's no other way to put it over the last 45 years. We've killed our own children. We call it abortion, we call it choice, but uh, I don't care what church you go to, I don't care uh, what you call yourself, uh, abortion is murder, and it's the destruction of a human life made in God's image. God is pro-life, he's not pro-abortion, he's pro-life, and our nation has completely forgotten that. Um, and uh, frankly, it's my personal opinion that our, our country is being judged and it starts with the church first, because that's scriptural. Uh, judgment has come, and it starts with the church first. Frankly, I believe our nation is under judgment. And if we don't repent and get on our knees, it's going to get worse. We already see what's going on. Coronavirus, it's a plague. It's like a biblical plague, right? The plague that God has sent like to the Israelites, and uh, or that he sent to the... Uh, ancient Egyptians and the Jews painted, put uh, lamb's blood over their, their uh, entrance, entrance ways, their doorways, and went inside. They were told to go inside and put that uh, blood on their doorways, and that way they would not be subject to the plague. And I suggest, uh, well, and we've been told, stay inside. Stay inside because judgment is coming. Secondly, we have another plague of locusts. I mean, this stuff is straight out of the Bible. There's no other way to look at it. We have a second plague of locusts, which has attacked farmers in Africa, in the Middle East, for about the last eight months. And it's not stopping either. There's another plague of locusts, a different one, in southern Africa now. There's still the one up in northern Africa, in the Middle East, and it's even gone into, up into Europe and Russia. And uh, the third plague that we're seeing, the third uh, judgment is fire. And uh, look at the skies. You know, California, the skies looked uh, like, a, like something out of a, a Blade Runner movie, you know, like a Holocaust. It looked like Blade Runner 2049. Orange skies in San Francisco and Oakland and other places. Here in Colorado, we had a reprieve. We had some snow. Uh, for the first time in years, we had snow in September, and it was early September, and it gave us a reprieve from our fires. But now we're back to these smoky skies, and the, the sun looks orange. You, can, you can't see the sun. You can't see the mountains. It's pretty obvious to me, as a Bible-believing Christian, that uh, we're under judgment. You know, and, you know, of course, the secular people, the secular left, and, uh, and those who claim to be godly but aren't, uh, will say, it's not God's judgment, it's, uh, it's climate change. It's human-made climate change, and uh, frankly, that's just a lie. Um, we're under judgment, and if you can't see that, you need to wake up. Anyway, I'm going to be playing for the next seven, eight straight days through, through what they call the Feast of Trumpets, because uh, this is my trumpet. It's a saxophone, but it's sort of like a trumpet, I guess. And uh, I'm going to be playing uh, Christian songs for the next few days every day. And I may be posting them and I may be not. 